good evening everyone so my, uh, i welcome you all in a sapiens education so today i am going to cover this um, the following topics so topic to be covered is der uh, derivation of acceleration due to gravity variation of gravity when height increase and variation of gravity when height or uh, height will decrease okay height will decrease right so uh, we will basically see that uh, an object is here on the earth so what is the gravity when an object is uh, above the earth so what is the gravity when an object is at the depth of the earth so what is the uh, gravity so we should get a different type of value okay so before that we need to understand what is gravity okay so acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity the force of attraction exerted by earth on a body is called gravity so in uh, earth is there okay earth will apply a force on on a object so let us consider this is your earth okay let us consider this is your earth this is your earth right and there is an object so earth applies a force or force on an object and due to this an object is coming down and this is called gravity and the acceleration produced in the motion of a body under the effect of a gravity is called acceleration due to gravity so if an object is being pulled here so it means that force is acting and if force is acting it means that there is an acceleration due to the gravity okay and this is called g this is called acceleration due to gravity so we are talking about gravity acceleration due to gravity okay and we are not talking about capital g that is gravitational constant and we are talking about uh, acceleration due to gravity when an object will be uh, will be being pulled by the earth so what will happen it will suddenly start coming and its velocity will, may, uh, will be start increasing and that is called acceleration and there if the, there is a force definitely there will be an acceleration and the acceleration due to gravity is known as g okay that is a small g now let a let a body body of a mass m lying on the surface so see here this is a body and it is lying on the surface right of, uh, so gravitational force is equal to what so as per the equation um, as per the as per the previous uh, previous explanation we know that uh, there are two mass so let the mass of the earth is capital m and mass of the mass of the mass of the object is small m okay and the distance uh, and the distance central distance is the radius of the earth only because it is a small sized object so we can't do um, uh, increase the r so by using that gravitational force will be what gravitational force will be g into m capital m that is mass 1 and into small m that is mass 2 divided by r square so finally we have got force due to gravity okay where m and r are the mass and radius of the earth i hope you have understood this now let us consider if g is the acceleration due to gravity then the force due to earth of the body see here an object is being here and there is an earth so if earth is pulling this object so what will happen what will happen so f if if f is there so mass into acceleration the body will accelerate so force by newton second law we can write here f is equal to mg why i have written mg because in place of a a that is acceleration we are writing g because we are um, we are thinking that g is the acceleration but due to gravity okay so you have got to equation that is f is equal to g m1 m into small m by r square and there is f is equal to mg we are talking about same force but we are getting a uh, different uh, with the different equation we are getting the same force so can we equate now so if we you will equate 1 and 2 so what will happen so capital g into uh, capital m into small m by r square into m into g so this this m will get cancelled so finally the expression you will get is g is equal to capital g into small m by r square now think that capital g is, is what capital g is your gravitational constant m is your mass of the earth r is the radius of the earth okay so finally each and everything is constant so when you put the value so what you will get if you put the value of g if you will put the value of uh, mass of the earth if you will put the value of uh, radius of the earth so you will get acceleration due to gravity and you will get this value after putting all the uh, respective value okay so this is how we got the values 9.8 
so by this method only you will able to and uh, get the value of gravity suppose suppose i am talking about a moon so what will happen i i want to find a gravity on the moon acceleration due to gravity on the moon so what i will do i will just write g mass of the moon divided by radius of the moon okay whole square so if you will do this so you will get the gravity on the moon this acceleration due to gravity on the moon so whenever you want any acceleration due to gravity on any planet any moon and all any sun so you will get you will use this method and find this okay i hope you have understood now now next uh, next is your acceleration due to gravity is a vector quantity see here acceleration due to gravity is a vector quantity and it always act towards center of the mass let us consider this this is the earth this is an object so acceleration due to gravity will always act toward the central direction it won't like uh, do like this like those like this so that and it is a uh, one direction so it is also known as vector quantity okay i hope you have enjoyed this uh, and uh, next uh, next topic i am going to discuss about is your variation of acceleration due to gravity see here uh, you know that at the surface you have got g is equal to 9.8 meter per second but as you will fly or as you go with the high altitude so g will vary or as you go inside deep inside the earth so g value will vary so we don't know what uh, what actually g is either increasing or decreasing so we should uh, we should come um, to the mathematical conclusion with the proper way so now now i am going to discuss about this thing so first of all uh, case one i will i will talk about case one i will talk about case one when an height of the object from the earth is increased so let us this consider this is your earth having a r as a radius of the earth and at this point you have got gravity as small g but as soon as you increase the height of the mass so your new gravity is your g dash and the height of the mass is your h so if you will talk about total central distance so we are getting r plus h i hope you have understood now let us consider any mass is at the height h from the surface of the earth so now acceleration due to gravity new acceleration that is g dash it will be g capital g into is uh, uh, capital m divided by r plus h whole square why r plus h whole square because the central distance is now uh, now changed from r to r plus h whole square okay now now tell me as you know that small g is equal to uh, gm by r square so can we write here in case of gm we can write here g into r square so in place of gm we ha i have written in place of G gm i have written g into r square and r plus h whole square so if you go uh, if you take a common like this and uh, square whole common so what will happen see here see in this step you can you write here g into r r by r plus h whole square because both have a square times now now see here very important very important it's very important see here i have given uh, just reverse this r h gone upside and small uh, capital r came on down side so when i reverse this so what is happening here so our square times will be uh, presented with minus symbol so that is you are getting g into r plus h by r into minus 2 now by using binomial theorem just you need to understand only no need to uh, go uh, so deeper if you will use binomial theorem so what you will get you will get this equation is 1 minus 2 h by r whole square so this is the value of new g dash so what uh, what conclusion you have drawn new g dash is equal to small g into 1 minus 2h by r whole square so now tell me if 2h height will increase so what will happen whole thing will decrease and if whole thing will decrease it means g dash will decrease so from the above equation i can say that g will reduce as height will increase so as much as you will go up so what will happen as much as you go above the earth surface so what will happen what will happen 
as you go above surface so gravity acceleration due to gravity will decrease okay so this is what uh, i am talking about so i hope you have understood now okay now i will discuss about the now in second part what is what we want to discuss see here let us consider a uh, case one when an object at a depth of d the gravity of value that is inside the earth see let us consider this is your earth okay this is the earth right and what happens as you go inside inside and you want gravity at g dash here so earlier it was gravity g and now g g dash is here and this is the center of the earth so total distance from center of the earth is your r and this is your small depth d and this is what this is the radius up to which we want the mass so this is let us suppose small r okay for this part we are getting we need uh, gravity see this is smaller part at this point we need g dash okay so as you know that g is equal to capital g into m by r square this is one of our equation now in this case what happen in this case what happen g dash if you want so what will happen capital g okay but what is the m m is the mass m dash what is m dash m dash is the smaller part smaller section mass smaller section mass why i am taking a smaller section mass see here this small part is only responsible see here i am just marking it by red color so this small part is responsible for the gravity acceleration due to gravity see here so what is outside we don't know but what is inside this what is uh, inside this we we will consider this okay so this is what we need to consider right so let us uh, do this so m dash is the mass of the m dash is the mass of the smaller section okay mass of the smaller section okay so i hope you have understood now m dash by divided by r r uh, r square but here r is what what is the length of this portion see here what is the length of this portion if i am talking about length so this will be what r minus d whole square because totally there is r and depth is d so can we write r minus d whole square now we have got this now how you will find mass m dash so let us consider mass let us consider let us consider rho is the density of the earth density of earth okay so if you want uh, total mass of the earth so what will be there volume into density so volume is 4 by 3 pi into r cube into density d so in place of capital m we can write this but in case of a small m what happens see here a small m radius is your r minus d whole square sorry r minus d so if you want volume so volume will be what 4 by 3 into pi into in place of radius you can write r minus d whole cube and into density so this is what m dash we have got i hope you have understood right so this is your m dash and this is your m and this is your r so now we we need to put equation uh, this is your equation 1 uh, and this is your this is uh, sorry uh okay uh, this is a equation 2 right this is equation 2 now let us uh, uh, let us uh, come uh, come what we we have now what we have now a small g we have a small g a small g is equal to capital g into small m by r square where uh, in case of m we have got what we have got m is has a value 4 by 3 pi r cube into density so let us put there g into g into 4 by 3 pi into r cube r cube pi um, 4 by 3 pi r cube into density divided by r square so finally we have got like this g in g into 4 by 3 pi into r into density now if i will talk about um, g dash so g dash is equal to g into m dash divided by r minus d whole Q, uh, whole cube 
sorry whole cube not it is your whole square it is your whole square it is your whole square right so this is your whole square so here we can write uh, so what is the value of g m dash so m dash is a value this 4 by 4 by 3 pi uh, so here uh, we can write g into m dash has a value 4 by 3 into pi into r minus d whole cube divided by into density divided by r minus d whole square so whole square whole cube got cancelled finally we have got g into 4 by 3 into pi into r minus d so if you you have got equation uh, third and equation fourth so divide 4 by divide equation 4 by third so what you will get if you will divide the equation 4 by third so you will get g dash by g is equal to g dash by g is equal to what is the value of g dash so g into 4 by 3 into pi into r minus d r minus d divided by uh, g into 4 by 3 into pi into r into density here also I have left density so not see here 4 by 3 pi 4 by 3 pi cancel g cancel g cancel density density cancel so finally we are getting r minus d by capital r so if you will do this so 1 minus d by r okay so finally we are getting g dash is equal to capital uh, g into 1 minus d by r now what the conclusion what type of conclusion you are drawing here what type of conclusion you want to draw here conclusion tell me conclusion not think about this if d will increase so what will happen total term will increase so if depth will increase if depth will increase then what will happen total term will decrease and finally g dash will decrease okay so we can write here as depth increases increases what happened gravity uh, acceleration due to gravity that is g g decreases g decreases so let us consider this this is your earth so as you go inside what will happen g will start falling so let us consider now you have got finally g dash is equal to g into 1 minus depth by r now if depth is at the center when you come when you enter at the center what will happen so d will be equal to radius so what will happen g, g is equal to 1 minus r by r so finally g dash will be is equal to 0 it means that it means that acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to due to gravity gravity at the center of the earth at the center of earth is zero so i hope you have understood so whatever the three types of things we need to discuss we have already discussed i hope you have enjoyed my class and if you want more further videos regular videos so please subscribe our channel so that we can also give you one more thing and i am giving a class notes link in a uh, uh, description below section so you can download our class notes thank you everyone